there she is. Lego City. Hi, everybody. Briquette here, showing the locations of 10 red bricks for power, protection, and scanning in LEGO City Undercover. I'm starting out with the Extra Hearts red brick in fresco in Papalardo's Ice Cream Parlor in Special Assignment 11, They All Scream for Ice Cream, which I already did in my 10 red bricks for studs and bricks. I wanted to show you where you can find a color swapper inside Papalardo's if you have the jet pack, which you get in Chapter 13. The Extra Hearts red brick is kind of for protection, too. It helps you last longer in a fight so you don't lose as many studs. Thanks to J. Rowe and Agron61 for requesting it. Please see the description below this video for all the times of the 10 red bricks. You can build these stairs or jetpack up here. Why is it so dark? Is it not dark enough? And my night light on. Someone get this off of me. Hey, who's out there? Then, if you're done in here, you can save and exit this mission. The next five red bricks are data scan upgrades so you can find more things with your scanner using your D-pad. This one in Cherry Tree Hills is the data scan upgrade for city challenges, like cat rescues. <laughs> this was way before I got the super break and enter red brick. The one in Auburn is the data scan upgrade for character challenges red brick. It's just past the house super build. Oh, this is a long one. You might not use a scanner much, but you'll need to get all the red bricks if you want 100% the game. Here's an example of what you can find with the scanner. There's a super build. If you hold the select button, it'll mark it on the map for you. This is an emergency. The next one on the Auburn Bay Bridge is the data scan upgrade for Red Bricks Red Brick. <laughs> it'll help you find the red bricks. Yeah, we've been here before. But this won't be so bad. We don't have to go all the way up this time. Wow.
Sorry, it's an emergency. The one in the Fort Meadow spider web cave is the data scan upgrade for tokens red brick. If you don't have the unlimited dynamite red brick, you can get some dynamite right here by the diner. This red brick is to scan for character or vehicle tokens. The one in Bluebell National Park is a data scan upgrade for Clue's red brick. It helps you find those paths that you follow as a police officer. There's a dynamite vending machine back there if you need it. Here's that vending machine. The next one is in Barry Smith's dojo in Special Assignment 4, Kung Fool. <laughs> it's the Super Throw Red Brick. I need to get that open. I wonder if I could use that. Just a tiny little piece of it. I need a lot more bricks before I can use that super build. There are other ways around here to get a super brick, but I'll try this one first. There's no way I could do this that fast, but I'll speed it up so you won't have to sit through it. And I thought Dunby had bad breath. None of these guys look like a berry to me. <laughs> Maybe there's a bell I have to ring for service. We have to turn these four boxes so they match the four pictures on the front of this wall. The one on the left is a miner, so we'll need to turn the first box to the pickaxe. The second one is the farmer. I'll speed this up. It's hard to get it to stop where you want it. Not enough. I'll have to fix that one.
If you're done, you can save and exit the mission. The one in Crescent Park is a Super Ram Red Brick. It's closer to the Bright Lights Plaza train station, so I'll go there first. The one in King's Court is the Invincibility Red Brick. The Super Throw and the Invincibility Red Bricks should help when you arrest gangs. That will be my next video. After I upload it, I'll add it as an end screen to this video and in the description. That wall is so hard to get to without falling. I just start jumping when I get to the end of the zip line. And of course we need Rex Fury for these orange strength handles. The Super Ray Gun Red Brick is on Apollo Island. The Super Ray Gun and Super Ram Red Bricks should help with arresting vehicle robbers. First we have to build this ramp super build. To open the silo, we need to step on all four of these buttons before the time runs out. Yeah. <laughs> well, that worked. I didn't even hear it open. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, which really helps. And subscribe to see when I upload new videos. See you next time!